Hey guys, so I get asked a lot about my table uh, top and what kind of wood it is and where did I get it and whatever, what is it? Um, I get asked a lot, like at least two to three times a week I get asked that same question. So I thought it would be fun to record a video and answer that question. Um, these are my doodle flowers that I put on Facebook, my freebie, and I printed them out onto patterned paper, patterned cardstock, and some of them, um, I think there's some script, well I think both of them might be script, but I printed them out several times, so, and then trimmed them out, and then now I'm going to use the matte multimedium from Ranger, and I am going to stick these down to my tabletop. Now, that is not real wood, that is paper basically it is a photographer's backdrop so it all it's a huge roll so I can replace it at any time so now I'm just sticking it down I'm using a um, old credit card to really make sure that it's good and stuck so oh and before before I started doing all of this I had put masking tape down because there were some holes and it tore in a few spots and you can probably see if you look down there on the left hand bottom corner uh, by my left whoop I just covered it up <laughs> well anyway there was a piece of masking tape right there because I had ripped a hole in it um, there's even a slice in the middle there I'll probably cover that up at some point but um, so I put masking tape on so that I wouldn't glue my uh, photographer's backdrop down onto my actual table <laughs> um, I purchased this backdrop I'm almost 100% certain at Hobby Lobby so if you use your 40% off coupon, you could get one too. It's really cool. They've got some really cool backdrops. Up. They don't have that many, but they've got some really cool ones. Um, another thing, another option you can use for, you know, for covering your tabletop is wrapping paper. You know, wrapping paper is not just for birthdays and for Christmas. They make wrapping paper in all different styles now. So check that out too if you want to cover your surface or you want a really large uh, sheet of something to art journal with or mixed media on or whatever. So what I think I'm going to do is um, I took a picture of this and I think I'm going to put it on Facebook and when it, the finished product. I'm going to put it on Facebook so that if you guys want it you can print it out. It'll be free. And all you have to do is right click on it and then tell it to save as or save wherever you save things and um, I think it'd be fun to maybe make some journal covers or something. It's like, you know, your own pattern paper, I guess. Um, but I thought it would be funny to do to answer the question this way because I answer it a lot and it actually looks really cool. I mean, I had this you know, the the surface that I'm working on right now, it's pretty wore out. It's it's got, you know, it's had some wear and tear and you can kind of see the wrinkling in it a little bit. I mean, I've been, you know, I've been working hard on that surface. <laughs> So I was gonna swap it out because um, I'm working on a new, um, I'm working on something new for you guys, and I was gonna swap it out before I started recording videos for that. But I think I'll just leave it for now. Maybe every once in a while I'll do some more mixed media work on there and just add something to it. Um, so now that I'm finished adding all my flowers, I am just putting some more matte medium on there, and I'm just gonna scrape it all over to really seal it in, to really protect those flowers. I don't want my paper trimmer to rip them up accidentally or anything like that. I want it still to be a smooth surface. Um, and I really like the way it turned out. I think it's really pretty and I like my doodle flowers. So uh, let, <laughs> let me know what you think. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And um, I guess I'll see you next time.